East Carolina University is going in a new direction to spot the coronavirus on campus into its wastewater pipes. Administrators believe the water being flushed and going down drains can show how the virus is spreading. Now to your side's Ford Sanders shows us how they're tracking down COVID. The testing comes as ECU leaders say that wastewater samples will potentially help them spot coronavirus faster than some other efforts. They say it's all about keeping students safe. We found that you can actually detect the COVID uh, genetic material three to seven days prior to someone showing symptoms. ECU administrators and researchers will be looking for COVID's genetic signs in wastewater from residence halls. They believe testing what comes down the drain will get them a head start in preventing COVID before anyone starts feeling the effects of the virus. We're currently uh, collecting samples uh, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday uh, in the mornings and then we collect the samples. We ice them down. Getting the wastewater means opening up manholes and accessing a device that collects water samples. Those samples then get into the scientist hand. And then we take them over to Dr. Iverson's lab over at Belk where they actually prepare the samples and then from there they go over to the Brody School of Medicine where Dr. Fallon actually runs uh, for detection of the genetic material. If the researchers find signs of COVID in the water, they know where to focus their testing efforts and precautionary measures. What they can really do is help guide those efforts, right? We, we have resources to test that population, but who do we test? We don't necessarily know. Certainly the people who have symptoms. ECU's residence halls don't have as many students for the spring semester. About 1,900 students fill those dorms, one person per room. In Greenville, Fort Sanders, 9 on your side.